Hello, everyone. This is Yungan Fu from the Efficient and Intelligent Computing Lab at Georgia Tech. My advisor is Dr. Celine Ling. Today, I will introduce our work, AutoCart, which is in collaboration with Meta Reality Lab. Kodak Avatar is a promising enabler for achieving photorealistic telepresence in ARVR, which aims to enable remote interactions among users in a shared virtual space. Driven by its big promise, Achieving mobile telepresence on resource-constrained ARVR devices is highly desirable in numerous ARVR applications. However, it is difficult to achieve this goal due to the prohibitive complexity of codec avatar pipelines. To tackle this, we propose a framework dubbed AutoCart to exploit both architectural redundancy and temporal redundancy in the avatar encoding process, which can for the first time enable real-time codec avatar driving using merely undivided resources. More specifically, in a typical codec avatar pipeline, the user behavior captured by headset-mounted sensors is encoded into a latent code, which will be transmitted to the receiver site and then decoded and re-rendered on the receiver's headset display using an avatar representation. However, decoding merely five avatars will drain out almost all resources on MetaQuest 2 headsets. This means very limited resources would be remained for the encoder, making it the efficiency bottleneck. A question is whether we can execute the encoder on the cloud as an alternative solution. However, the answer is no due to the huge privacy concerns considering the captured human faces are private assets. Another potential solution is to reduce the encoder capacity. However, naively doing so will result in considerable accuracy degradation, especially under extreme expressions, which contain the most informative social signals. Another option is to perform hardware-specific optimization for accelerating avatar encoding, while the fast-evolving ARVR hardware backends will make hardware-specific optimization quickly outdated. To this end, we propose a framework termed AutoCart to automatically exploit both architectural redundancy and temporal redundancy in the, in the avatar encoding process. In particular, to exploit architectural redundancy, our key insight is to ensure robustness under extreme expressions and hardware friendliness to ARVR headsets. We achieve this by proposing a dedicated neural architectural search technique termed ABE NAS. To exploit temporal redundancy, we interestingly find that the latent space of codec avatar features decent linearity, which enables latent code reuses. We leverage this and propose a latent extrapolation technique to skip the encoding process of the identified redundant frames. To exploit architectural redundancy, the key research question for our AVE NAS is how to boost the encoder's efficiency on ARVA headsets while ensuring its robustness under extreme expressions. Our AVE NAS achieved this goal by customizing each NAS component dedicated to avatar encoding. For the microstructure of AVE NAS, motivated by the costly data streaming from peripheral sensors to the central SOC, there has been an increasing trend of distributed near-sensor encoding to reduce the data movement cost to the central SOC. This calls for the encoder to independently process each parallel phase as much as possible to align with the distributed encoding trends of ARVR headsets. Given the captured parallel phases, the key feature of our encoder's microstructure is to adopt independent branches to encode each part of phase into the latent code skip features and key point features and fuse them as the last layer, which will be next decoded into texture and geometry and rendered into avatars in the virtual space. In terms of the search scheme, on top of this macro structure, our EV NAS jointly searches the operators, channels, and input resolutions of the encoder for maximized efficiency. The key research question is how to differentially optimize the architectural parameter theta in the general NAS simulation here, especially considering resolution is naturally non-differentiable. Our AVE NAS adopts a hybrid di differentiable search scheme to achieve this. It adopts reparameterization tricks for operator and channel search, thanks to its low variance, and adopts policy gradients for input resolution search, as it does not require the model F to be differentiable with the architectural parameter theta. Thus, the search process can be differentially performed end-to-end. -end. For the search objective, we find that a naive search objective may result in a view class issue. For example, the rendered left eye cannot correctly close due to the excessively lightweight left eye branch 
in the first encoder. To tackle this issue, our key idea is to focus learning on really appeared expressions with modulated loss coefficients. Then the next question is what is a good indicator for the expression realness? Considering eye contact is a strong and important social signal which highly correlates with rich feature expressions, we adopt the estimated gaze to indicate the expression realness and reweight the loss. More details of the loss design can be found in our paper. In parallel, to exploit the temporal redundancy, we interestingly discovered that the latent space of codec avatar features decent linearity. To validate this, we directly use linear interpolation to acquire the intermediate latent codes instead of performing an encoding process. As shown in this figure, the decoded avatar from interpolated latent codes show decent render quality and can correctly reflect realistic facial motions. This indicates that the decent linearity of the latent space can enable latent code reuse opportunities. To leverage this, we propose a latent extrapolation technique to identify redundant frames with small and linear motions, and then perform a linear extrapolation to reuse previous latent codes to derive the new one, thus avoiding unnecessary encoding processes. We evaluate our method across 10 diverse identities and benchmark with existing SOTA avatar encoder called EEM. We report the mirrored rendering latency on both MetaQuest 2 headsets and the Pixel 3 mobile phone. This table visualizes the rendered MSE across different views on three identities achieved by different model variants of both the EEM baseline and the search models by our AutoCard. We can observe that our AutoCard can achieve a consistently better efficiency accuracy trade-off. For example, a 5.05 times speed-up on MetaQuest 2 with an average 0 0.46 reduction in the rendering MFE over the SOTA encoder EM. In addition, our search encoders can consistently show really better rendering quality while enjoying a 3.83 times speed up, especially under extreme expressions. Here is a rendered video of AutoCart, and for more experimental results, please refer to our paper. That's all for the presentation and welcome to join our poster session. Thank you.